We're at Expo 2020 in Dubai. The UN General Assembly will convene its Global Goals Week starting on Saturday. It's the first time this event's been held outside of the UN headquarters in New York. Poverty, climate change and inequality will be addressed, <clears throat> especially vaccine inequality in less wealthy nations. Helen Clark is with me virtually, the former Prime Minister of New Zealand. She'll be one of the virtual speakers and she joins me now from New Zealand. Uh, Ms. Clark, it is good to always uh, good to talk to you. The, this, this meeting of the UN and, uh, and the global goals, it could not happen at a better time, but at the same time, the situation is deteriorating from vaccine inequality and uh, poverty difference. Yes, the, the situation is dire. And, and let's face it, while we're all over the virus, the virus is not done with us. It's going to keep coming in surges and spikes and waves. And we have to do the best we can to protect ourselves and the world's population. So vaccine inequity is absolutely the issue to be focusing on in this Global Goals Week. Right. Because until we can get that, how do we get back on track with sustainable development goals and the fight against poverty and hunger and everything else in those goals? But bearing in mind that from day one, of pandemic we were told by the experts you have to vaccinate the world no one's safe until everyone's safe and yet first delta then omicron both came about or certainly omicron because part of the world was not vaccinated we haven't learned no we, we haven't learned at all and it's a complicated picture of the high income countries like yours and mine all over ordering and then not sharing uh, what we've got. It's a, it's a complex picture of big pharma uh, not being prepared to license production around the world at the scale required to vaccinate the, the low and low middle income countries. Right. There's also dragging the chain on the TRIPS waiver discussions, the intellectual property waiver discussions at the WTO. We need to fix a lot of things to get this right. OK, so how does a virtual meeting of the UN in such a fashion with all, I mean, you know, I, I, I stand uh, much less experienced than yourself at UN protocols, but I do know that, that, that they are long winded they are full of bureaucracy. How do you actually get something done from those meetings? I think this one's important because it really becomes the first international meeting of scale of the year. Normally about this time, you'd be standing in the snow at Davos and so would I. That's not possible this year to bring the, you know, the world's great and good together at the World Economic Forum. So this summit is a first opportunity before you get to the World Health Assembly Executive Board in a couple of weeks' time, uh, before you get to the G20 finance ministers' meetings and so on. So hopefully this meeting can set the tone with more dynamic interaction and sessions than is possible in what you are right, is the somewhat stifling protocol-oriented uh, kind of session you get in New York at the General Assembly. I don't know how you do so many of them, Ms. Clark, and still sort of manage to keep so optimistic or at least uh, keep, keep moving forward. Alan Clark joining us from uh, New Zealand, where it is uh, morning. Thank you, ma'am.